Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, January 13, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to this full video uh, with all the uh, commodities and precious metals that are available on basically on Etoro. So the link is down below. You can also get access to our signal service and also our online trades. So you're welcome. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index and uh, the last three trading days, it has been appreciating. It has been an absolute pain um, to be trading while well, this has been appreciating. But now it looks like we have run, run into resistant at the 90.71 and now we're heading back below the 20 exponential moving average. So at the target at this point are these previous lows, so at 89.15, and after that we are going significantly lower. So if we break this, we are going all the way down to these lows here, so 87 and, and below that. And that will have major implications, for example, on stocks, indices, um, commodities, precious metals, and so on. They will uh, become more bullish as there's a negative correlation between the US dollar index at a US dollar and, and commodities and precious metals. So when this falls, you will see a massive movement, for example, in uh, currency pairs as well, like the British pound, uh, Great British pound and US dollar has appreciated significantly today. If you look at technical indicators, they are turning around. So, so this is not looking really good for the US dollar index at this current stage. So let's look at oil. So we have rallied, and this is basically one of those effects that the US dollar index has had on, on the markets. Uh, we have been rallying all the way since the beginning of November. We went from 33.75, and now we're trading at uh, 53.11. A ridiculous rally. To be fairly honest, it, it has nothing to do basically with demand. It is pure uh, speculation in the market. Most of this was basically vaccine news, and then stimulus news, and uh, and uh, partially also a depreciation of the U.S. dollar, and then a lot of OPEC news and so on. At this point, I would not be surprised if this fell off a cliff all the way down to 39.21. That is basically at the 20 exponential moving average. If we look at the Bollinger Band, for example, you will see what I mean. We are way outside of the Bollinger Band here. We fell a little bit yesterday, not enough. Usually when oil gets outside of the bullish band in the bottom or on the top, it has a really, really violent um, uh, reaction to it. For example, here we fell all the way from uh, 65 all the way down to uh, 49. We saw it here where it fell from 33 all the way down to uh, 60, and uh, 36 and so on and so on. So expect a pullback towards the middle here. So pullbacks are buying opportunities. Um, this will be a really nasty fall for, for oil. I would not um, recommend anybody buying oil at this stage because you can get horribly burned um, by doing that in this at this current stage, at this price level. It's not like I'm not saying that it's not going to go higher. It is basically needs a massive pullback similar to this. So a pullback roughly uh, of, um, of uh, $4, that is very likely. Technical indicators are becoming flat. Um, so yes, we just need some kind of news in order to get this market to go much lower. We are at 73 here in RSI. It is also significantly overbought. So let's look at natural gas. Yes, we have rallied towards the top of the bullish band and then we crashed. So whether or not we are we are basically trading underneath the 50. So if we were trading above the 50, that would be a lot more encouraging, but we are not. We're trading underneath the 50. But I think that we're just going to see more of the same. So we have fallen, rallied, fallen, rallied, fallen and rallied again. I think we are heading back towards the lower part of the bullish band, roughly for 2.4 uh, that is basically where I think we are going. If you look at technical indicators, they are turning around. The RSI, the MACD uh, are both becoming negative. CCI is still bullish and MACD is still bullish. 
but this is not a very good indication that you um, pull back this um, aggressively when you hit the top of the Bollinger Band. So I would not be interested basically um, in trading this until we basically pull back from the from the 200 moving average or we basically break the 200 moving average. So let's look at copper. So copper has also been basically all over the place um, today. We were outside of the bullish band here, fell quite nasty, uh, aggressively and then rallied um, from the uh, 20 exponential moving average. At this point, we are most likely going back towards the top here of the bullish band, and that is 3.669. Uh, uh, um, a pullback towards that 20 uh, will mostly be a buying opportunity as it has been major support for a very long time. So if you wanted to basically enter, the, enter this market, you'd have entered it here with a target of these previous highs. Technical indicators for this are, well, they are fairly mixed. The uh, MACD is big and negative, the stochastic is negative, CCI and the uh, RSI are bullish at this point. There's a lot of room to the upside, so this market can go much, much higher. So let's look at gold. So we may see gold rally from here. And the reason for that is because the US dollar is starting to um, depreciate again. We are right at the uh, 200 moving average. So this is probably uh, as good as it can get if you want this to rally from here. So the 200 moving average and the bottom of the bullish band, both of them are looking like they are um, supportive. We have these technical indicators that are turning around. There's a lot of room to the upside. So the target here will most likely be, be these previous highs. I can put a rough line right here. This area will most likely be the highest in this market. So um, give or take, roughly 1953 uh, there's where you should expect uh, major uh, resistance in this market if you if we manage to break above this then we're heading to 2000 and after that to 2100 um, 200 moving average we have tested it twice now we have not broken significantly through uh, basically rallied from it so that is a very encouraging sign so a stop loss underneath here with a target of this round area here that is uh, most likely what is going to happen at this current stage. So let's look at silver. So we have pulled, uh, we have rallied from the 50 moving average and it's very similar to gold. We have a top here that we are most likely going to test again. That's at roughly $27. And uh, at the moment we're trading at $25, so uh, roughly $2 up. That's where we'll find uh, resistance. If we manage to break through this area, which is fairly bigger than this, then we're heading to the very highest here. Taking indicators are turning around, so it's very likely that we are going to go higher. Um, if you trade this to buy it, I would consider having a stop loss right underneath here in order to um, minimize your risk if it goes the other way. So let's look at platinum. We can see that we have rallied from these lows. So we hit the um, support here at uh, 1005, and now we are at 1074. So a fairly big rally today. And it looks like that this is just now is ready to go higher. We may pull back a little bit towards the 20 exponential and then head back to these previous highs. Technical indicators are turning around, so that is a very encouraging sign for this. As the US dollar also starts to depreciating this should also continue higher so let's look at pallium so as you can see we found resist uh, support here at the 50 moving average it it looks like we are about to turn around here the target would be first the top of this bullinger band which is 2.462 after that these previous highs and we have not managed to break through these previous highs for a really really long time now so uh, 2.516 uh, is basically the highs in the market expect a lot of resistance if, when you get there 
And if we break that, then we're going significantly higher. We have just been trading back and forwards uh, constantly. A break below the 50 opens the door to these lows here at 2.266. Technical indicators are turning around, so it do, and they basically do favor the upside at this current stage. So let's look at aluminium. So as you can see, we have rallied a little bit today. We found uh, resistant here at the 20 moving average, basically in the middle of the bullion band. But I think that it is, it is uh, almost a certainty that we will go higher from here. We'll probably head towards the top of the bullion band. That is roughly 2.052. Uh, if we fall from here, there's a lot of uh, support right underneath both the uh, bottom of the bullion band, also the 50 moving average, also these previous lows. So a pullback from here will be even a better buying opportunity. Technical indicators are turning around the CCI, for example, does the, the, the RSI, so it's a casting, uh, but the MACD is still uh, fairly uh, far away from its signal line. But um, it looks like we are heading towards these highs. So look at let's look at nickel. You can see that we have rallied significantly today. That was uh, also expected. I was hoping for a pull back, a pull to all the way down towards the 50 moving average because that would be on a fantastic entry point. But the 20 exponential has uh, has been holding, and today we have been rallying roughly more than two percent. Technical indicators are turning around uh, for uh, nickel, so we are most likely heading towards the top of the Bollinger Band. If we fall back towards the 20 exponential or the 20 moving average, and then that is uh, uh, another possibility to enter this market with a stop loss right underneath here and the target of the top here of the bullion band, so 18.017. So let's look at uh, sugar. We can see that we continue this decline towards the 20 exponential. These technical indicators are uh, getting actually more negative. So we'll most likely touch the 20 exponential. If that holds, then that is an indication that we'll turn around from here. Otherwise, if it breaks, then we're heading to the 20 more uh, simple and the 50 run underneath. So there's a lot of support underneath. Also, these previous highs offer a lot of support. So around this area here, there should be a massive turnaround. So I'll put my stop loss underneath the 50. The target would be these highs of 0 0.1628. So let's look at cotton. We can see that it continues to rally. I was hoping for a bigger pullback towards the 20 exponential. That has not happened. Uh, but it only means that we'll have an even bigger fall uh, if this continue. Uh, increasing this way um, so so at this point technical indicators are uh, still uh, very positive uh, but the, the, R, the RSI is significantly overbought so this could fall at any point I would not buy into this at this point I will wait until we fall towards the middle of the bullish band and then uh, we could buy into this so uh, yes let's look at uh, cocoa So nothing really has happened here. We are trading in a highs here of 2.8, the lows of 2.2, and we're still right in the middle. We're trading underneath all of these moving averages. A break below the 200 moving average opens the door to uh, 2.327 and then to 2.24. Um, yes, I would not trade this uh, you know, <laughs> until we basically break above the 50 moving average. That will basically be a buy. And the break below the 200, that will be a short. Technical indicators are basically all over the place at this point. So I would just stay away from Gokoa at this current stage. There is no clear path of where this market is basically going. So let's look at wheat. So wheat has rallied significantly today. So we ran into a major support here at the 20 exponential moving average, rallied all the way to the top. And uh, now it's almost certain that we'll fall back down. So this was way too fast. Um, and we have been way overextended at this current stage. We're on the edge of being overbought. So even though we have another rally here, 
it will, the fall will just be bigger. So yes, um, you, this is a very profitable trade, but it, there's going to be a lot of volatility. I would just leave the market when we get basically close to the Bollinger Band because um, after that, there's not that much to gain. Um, but if you want to buy in this market, you have to wait until it gets back towards the 20 exponential. Buying it here, um, well, that is just too risky. So if you have any questions, just ask me over at Patreon. Um, otherwise, good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.